Yo, what is happening, little lizards? It's your boy Lemon up here, Patrick, back at it again. By the way, if you guys are new to this channel, remember to hit the heck out of that subscribe button, and let's hit the heck out of this like button for this new series. I'm gonna be teaching you guys in the Subnautica series how to get every single fragment in Subnautica. So the first thing we're gonna start off with in this series is gonna be the sea glide. The sea glide is a very important um, thing that you need for necessary survival, and the reason why this is is because it improves your swimming speed up to 110 percent. So that's why I recommend getting this first. And then the next episode we'll be doing we'll be doing the the mobile vehicle bay. Which, these episodes are not going to be the main Subnautica series. I'm still going to be doing that all the time. But, like, I want to do, like, a sidetrack kind of one. So, the first thing you're going to need for this uh, episode to get the Sea Glide is you're going to need the scanner. Which, you're going to need battery, a battery and a titanium. A piece of titanium. And then you can make the scanner. So, what you're going to look around for right now is just wreckage around this area. Um, and you should see, like, little cargo ships um, as you're swimming around or whatever. But sometimes you, it takes a little bit to find it because you need a way for the ship to explode. But I think that so, they still spawn even without it being there. So, yeah. Though, yeah, this is going to be a really helpful series for a lot of you got pro or newbie Subnautica players that are looking for help and assistance in this game and that need a, the fragments. So I, I think I'll be very helpful. Right now I just need to get oxygen because I, I have no oxygen tanks. All right. So I haven't seen any wreckage, so you gotta you gotta just skirt search around. The like, wreckage will look kind of similar to metal salvage or scrap metal even. It's called metal salvage, but you're you're looking around for wreckage like cargo sh stuff. So you you'll see it around. Like you, most of the time, you'll see it after the ship explodes. But, like sometimes you'll see it now even. Like it just depends. Come here, peeper. So I'm just gonna swim around, and then I should be able to find some. That says I'm slow as heck without the sea glide. That's why I, that's why I'm doing this one first, is because without it you are so slow. Um I think I see I think I've seen like bits and pieces of wreckage over here before in my series. You see uh, you see it everywhere. Oh god. Yeah, and the thing that sucks about this game though in early access is the frame rate. It's gotta be the most annoying thing about the game. But yeah, just keep swimming around. You should find some wreckage eventually. I'm surprised I haven't found any. Oxygen. Oxygen. And, oh, like, without the sea glide, you can't go too deep because you don't have any way of getting up as quick. So if you're gonna do this, I recommend that you do get some pipes. Oh my god, there's no- Oh, wait. Wait, here's something. Yeah, you're gonna be looking- you're gonna be looking for cargo crates like this. See right here, sea glide fragment. Already one half step there. So you need two, um, two of those fragments in order to be able to make it. That's what you're looking for. Like you can find that in the wreckage, but you can just find find it laying around like so. So, and then I'll be teaching you guys actually how to make it as well, which will be a very big help for some of you guys. Oh, there it is, guys. The last piece. All right. So now you have the sea glide unlocked. That took longer than it needed to take. All right. So now I'm gonna teach you how to make this dang piece of crap. So to make this, you're gonna need t copper wire, lubricant, and a battery, which it doesn't seem like that much, but it it is pretty costly. So right now I'm just gonna go. Wait, do I have any copper on me? Perhaps. Oh yeah, it's doing this like it did in my first episode. No, I don't have any copper. Alright, well we're gonna go ahead and pick up some acid mushrooms. Um, you can get um, copper ore just from from these things up here. They're limestone chunks. Yeah, that's titanium. I need three copper because I need two for the copper wire. Um... Uh, 
Oxygen. Shut up, Shatid. I know you're my beautiful wife, but you mean your name's Shatid, and I don't like you that. Should be another piece of it in here. Yep. Uh, that's titanium. I cannot see. I cannot see crap. It is so dark. I'll be back when I get all the equipment that I need for it. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's dry core may cause a quantum detonation. Calculating risk assessment. Death by malnourishment. Alright guys, so now I have everything I need for the sea glide. Uh, as you can see, you need a battery, lubricant, and copper wire, and titanium, which is all very easy to get. As now we are going to craft the uh, sea glide. So I hope, we, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. If it did, remember to claw that like button. And if you are new to the channel and this did really did help you, or help you out, do please consider subscribing to get all the latest updates and all late, more videos. From your boy Lemon Raptor, and and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.